don't go wasting money on Madden packs. Get yourself the guaranteed fast and reliable coins so you can have any player on your squad that you would like. Hit up Game Rusher and make sure you use code ENT at checkout so you can get yourself a savings. Let's go. We fresh, we fresh, we fly, we fly. We good motherfucker, no lie, no lie. They hate, they hate, you know why, no why. Cause we own, own fire, 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 own fire. They hate, you know why, no why. Cause we own, own fire, fresh white teeth, brand new J's. Pockets on swole, god damn it, I'm paid. <laughs> Flow sick, you can call it full blown AIDS. Stop the whole thing, I'm about to. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over an unstoppable run and pass scheme in Madden 21. So if this is your first time checking out the channel, drop a like and subscribe. Turn your notifications off and then turn them back on so YouTube algorithm can get it right. So we are in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. It's a very easy scheme, very effective. As you can see right now, we are in Riggs gameplay. So it makes this offensive scheme so much better. And you are able to run out of the H form tight. So you can see right now, I'm setting my audibles. I'm putting more speed in right now. I'm seeing what kind of offensive package my opponent was coming out. But the play we're gonna go over is the I form H tight. Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. Now, you can also get the ebook, and I broke down a way to be able to dominate man coverage, and your guy will be open by 15 to 20 yards every single time. But the I form H tight, you're going to see exactly how the blocks line up. Now, what you want to do is not hold the speed burst at all. All you will have to do is maneuver either to the inside or the outside. I like the motion that guy in, and you can see he picks up a key block right there. The only way to be lucky and stop this is to have a block shed so we got two people in front of us and like I said he got that he got the block shed on the left but that's okay because we got four yards in this game you have to have really good run defense to be effective now the only other option they have is run commit so we got two good passing options out of that same formation as you can see I will run that one time and then I will go back into my regular offense that you have to guard the X receiver and everybody knows about this already but in rigs instead of mutt is so much better to use so there's DK Metcalf here we go on defense my ebook is going to break down how to circle with your user and become way better on defense you're going to get three to four interceptions and then at the end of this video watch it all the way to the end you're going to see you can just send a two or a three man blitz and you will get successful pressure every single time now the deep bomb out of the I form H tight is the PA misdirection shot. It don't matter if you on the right hash going against man coverage, cover four or cover three, you will see that deep post route get open nine out of 10 times. Now a key adjustment I like to make on my throw power to make sure that my guy has a good attempt at getting the ball is push the LB or the L1 and then pass it to the icon. That helps your guy get max throw power in case you didn't know it. So here we go right now. We're going right back to the run. And like I said, don't hold speed burst when you are running the ball. Find out where the hole is, find out where the gap is, and then hit the gap. So all the blocks line up and we are able to gash the defense five to eight yards at a time. So I go into the I form H wing when they are shifting or spreading their linebackers because now I can mix in the halfback ISO and the halfback stretch in the PA counter go. So right here, it looks like he has good defense, but like I said, let the blocks line up. Don't hold the speed burst. And you can see I have full control of the running back to be able to cut to the inside, cut back to the outside. And that's what I want you guys to be able to do also. So we are up 28 to 21. He has two high safeties. That shows me a cover four or a man coverage type look. We go with the same type of route again. And you can see that B receiver gets behind the 
whole coverage and I hold that LB or that L1 to be able to get max throw power. Now he was in a good position to make a play on the ball, but most users will go for the pick and that's when they make a mistake. They need to go for the swat in that position as we come back with the lurk and now I'm going to show you the glitchy part of the ebook and the Patreon. So go in the link in the description right now. Do not wait any longer. And what you're about to see in about five seconds is exactly what my ebook and Patreon is all about.